when you look at the fashion industry, it's just about escaping, it's about dreaming, it's about taking your mind away from all of those kind of subject matters that don't necessarily fill you with joy. And so I think that because of that, the language surrounding our industry is, you forget we are one of the biggest contributors to harming the environment. And you know, there's over half a billion dollars worth of, of waste in our industry every year. When I first started, I was definitely the eco-weirdo in the room. I felt like I was almost kind of, you know, ridiculed because of my position and, and the way I was looking at the industry in connection with the planet. I think now it's a conversation that people are aware of. It seems there's more of a kind of welcoming attitude toward it. And so I'm hopeful that it's changing, you know, for the positive. But I think obviously there's still a huge amount to do. You know, conscious consumption is at the core of everything. If the people that make the business decisions know that the next generation of consumers will not stand for anything less than, you know, responsible business, then they're gonna have to do it anyway. So I think it's great. I'm a big believer in infiltrating from within. It's something I've done from day one of my career. Unless you're having this conversation with the people at the table and you have a seat at that table, then it is really a lot less impactful and I'm not stupid enough to think otherwise. And so I, I wanna be there and I wanna bring this to their attention. To me, a lot of these, these young businesses that wanna swap out um, bad methods for good methods come to me luckily because I think I'm one of the few people that they can kind of turn to within the industry for alternatives for leathers or feathers or fur or just you know a better practice. I think if you're not part of the conversation you're irrelevant so I think that this is part of that criteria now so it's not just that you have to be a great designer and you have to be cool and kind of setting a trend or you know, I think as much as that, you have to be aware and conscious and mindful, and you really need to have a traceable approach to how you do business. At Stella McCartney, we are committed to the use of a whole new generation of sustainable fabrics, including fabrics made entirely of recycled material and waste product. My upbringing had a big part to play, as anyone's does, um, in how they're shaped and, and how they act going forward probably in their life. I think mine obviously was a little more high profile, but you know, certainly my parents have been um, part of a game changing conversation in the arts and in, you know, and also in animal cruelty and animal awareness in, you know, and, and I think environmentally. But the only way to help animals and help this world, when you think of it ecologically, is to say something and try and spread the word. That's what you, you could do, you could spread the word. You know, now I'm a mother and, and for me that plays a big role in how I want to kind of present how I work and try and have a positive impact there. I'm a big fan of informing people and letting them make up their own decisions. So giving people information and they can take it or they can leave it and giving people a really great solution you know that's critical for what I do you know I look at what I'm wearing now this is a regenerative cotton shirt I'm wearing a pair of faux leather boots that have um, an aluminium chain that's fully recyclable and this is made from the waste of the wine industry from grape skin so for me if you can't see or you're not sacrificing anything for sustainability in your style then for me that's like a big success. <laughs>